Good morning, everyone. My name's Annabelle Bateman. I am in Tessa's lovely oily team, and she has asked me to do the video today all about the oils that we're trying today. So I hope you enjoyed yesterday's ice blue rub, certainly one of my favourites. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about peppermint and wild orange. So these are two fabulous, very versatile oils. Uh, they're two that um, I love to cook with. I've got a food blog called What Annabelle Cooks. So um, they are two that are safe for internal use. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, I'm just going to tell you the basic uses of each one of them first. So we'll start with wild orange. Uh, now I have heard wild orange described as skipping down the path with your best friend. So that um, it's an oil that um, lots and lots and lots of people just really love. So uh, it, cit all citrus oils are mood lifting, uh, they're uplifting, they, um, you know, so they're good to diffuse really or use in the mornings when you just want that, you know, nice up and lift or if you're not, or if you're feeling a bit flat. Uh, citrus oils are also good cleansers, so they're good for internal cleansing and external cleansing. So great to use in your, uh, in your home detox products, um, you know, and things like your sprays and wipes and surface cleaners and that type of thing, along with lemon. Um, yeah, orange works really well like that too. Uh, so that is orange. And oh, the other thing I just want to say about orange is that with the citrus oils, they are what we call photosensitive. So that just means that it's not a good idea to put citrus oils in say in your skincare where you're rubbing it all over your face and then going out into the sun or your arms or your legs, um, it can just make it easier for your skin to burn. So don't do that with um, orange or any of the citrus oils. Now, uh, the other one that we're just going to highlight today is peppermint. Peppermint is one of, oh, it's just an incredibly versatile oil really. Uh, peppermint is, is incredibly refreshing and energising. One drop of, drop of peppermint oil is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So it'll just give you a bit of an idea how, um, how intense and strong these oils are. So with the peppermint, it is good, great for digestion. Uh, so a good one to put in a bottle of water, give it a shake up and a drink, a bit like this one. Um, I've actually put in here a drop of wild orange and a drop of peppermint this morning. Just give it a bit of a shake up and then, a, then uh, have a drink, nice and refreshing. Um, <clears throat> peppermint can also be good for just relieving that occasional head tension. You can just put a little drop, maybe just offset here and here, not too close to your eyes. Peppermint can really sting your eyes. So this is one that you don't want to you know, be putting on or getting it on your hands and then accidentally touching your eyes. So we say with essential oil safety that we should never use essential oils in our eyes, nose, ears, um, our bits, private parts, or under our pits, bits and pits. Um, so just be cautious of, um, you know, always wash your hands, I suppose, after you've been using your essential oils. So peppermint, yeah, great for digestion, great for energy, great for um, opening up your lungs. I was talking to... Um, one of the lovely girls in my team who's a physio and she was saying yesterday she really likes to use peppermint before you know, doing anything sporty just to, just to open up the, the, the lungs. Uh, so even just taking a smell from the bottle or I'm going to show you in a minute how to do a nice little inhalation. Uh, so yeah, be careful with that. Just um, If you're breastfeeding, just be, be cautious with peppermint. It can... Um, it can impact on your milk supply with peppermint. So that's, uh, yeah, what else can we use peppermint for? I think they're the main things. I'm sure people in the comments will put lots of different comments as to how you use using the oils uh, and how you're going to try with them uh, today. So what, like I said before, um, I've got a cooking blog. One of the things that I do to cook with them um, I'm going to give you some ideas. So chalk mint bliss balls. Anything chalk mint, peppermint is incredible for. So I would do chalk mint bliss balls, maybe um, four or five drops for, for, for a whole batch. Uh, 
always best to start off small, like one drop, and then taste at another drop. Don't ever use like teaspoons worth um, of any of the essential oils in your cooking. Uh, when you're cooking with the essential oils, it is best to add them in at the end of the process, not during the cooking process if you can avoid it, because you will lose some of the therapeutic value. But having said that, I've made great citrus bliss cake with the wild orange and some other citrus oils. Um, I like to put my wild orange in my muesli that I make. Um, obviously, orange can be in anything Jaffa, you know, anything chalk orange. Uh, think brownies, think cakes. Um, my, my friend of mine's made this delicious beetroot cake with peppermint in it. That's really awesome. Uh, what else can we use? Orange. Actually, I made a roast chicken last night, and I put a few drops of orange in the stuffing. And um, also, yeah, so that is a, that's a really good way to do it. Marinades is a great one for wild orange. Um, any dressings, muesli, even a, just a drop of either one of these. I haven't tried both, although you could, in a smoothie. The peppermint in your morning smoothie just gives a real freshness and alertness. So because peppermint is that energising, it's great for the start of the day. It's also great for the, um, the afternoon when you're feeling a bit uh, tired and sluggish and you might be reaching for that coffee. Reach for the peppermint oil. And this, here's a really good... Um, thing to do. So I'm just going to take the drop off here. Um, I'm just going to add one drop into my hand there. And I'm going to add the wild orange because peppermint and wild orange are actually really nice little friends and they go really well together. Whoop, that was two drops. Um, so I'm just going to rub my hands together. And then if you just hold it over your nose, not over your eyes, but and just breathe it in. <sighs> oh, it's just, um, up, it's refreshing, it's uplifting, it's cleansing, it really cleanses those, um, you know, your nasal passages. And then, you know, I'm just going to put that on the back of my neck. Just beautiful and refreshing. So there you go. There's some ideas for how to use your wild orange and peppermint. Do comment in this uh, post uh, this video post about how you use wild orange and peppermint uh, and then later on today Tess is going to post a separate post which will be the giveaway post for today and in that post you will need to comment about uh, your experiences yesterday with the ice blue so looking forward to hearing all about how you used ice blue uh, in the giveaway post that Tess will post at lunchtime. So stay tuned, have an awesome day. Don't forget to comment, ask questions in this about your wild orange and peppermint. And um, the people that have referred you will um, you know, really enjoy responding to your, to your questions. So have a great day, everybody. Bye.